All the pain and happiness, the world is all within Will it seek the man to stop, I'm out here wondering Amen, so many things Just keep happiness, so what can we do about it while you're pain? Vibrations, vibrations, vibrations. This is something that I always speak about. It's what you are putting out. <laughs> it's why that's what you get back. It's your vibration. And you are in control of that vibration. Why? Because you have free will. Welcome. Hello. How you guys doing? I am Yasis, and I am here to inform, stand proudly in Jesus Christ's name, stand firmly, stand boastfully, stand just, just upright. I'm in everything I have in the Lord Jesus Christ. These days, when you look outside, it's a lot of people that's scared. Why are you scared? Have faith in the Lord. <laughs> and you have nothing to fear. It's so crazy. Sometimes people go, what am I going to do at this time? I need to go off the grid. I'm not going to take this vaccine. I've been oppressed for, how old am I? I've been oppressed for 59 years. No, you haven't. You haven't been oppressed for no 59 years. And if you are, that's because you kind of allowed it to happen to you. What do I mean by that? You know how some people don't treat everybody the same. They treat people according to how they look at them. Oh, I'm not going to trip on her because I know she'll swing to hit me in my eye. Oh, I'm going to talk to him crazy because I know that he not going to say nothing and let me walk all over. You know, sometimes you have to figure out which battle is for you. You have to put your trust, your faith, your Lord, and everything like that in the Lord. He will always provide. Now we got things that's going on that people are being misled. Once again, when you surrender to God, Sometimes you're not even aware what's going on. You're like, what happened? And then they, and, and, and what happened? When this happened? And everybody looking at you like, you haven't seen it? You haven't, seen no. You are not going to be affected by anything because God has provided for you. God is keeping you out of harm's way because you know what? You can go anywhere and that be your last place you going, right? You People like, I'm not going to get on a plane because it'll crash. Well, 
sometimes there's more accidents when you're driving a car. So, so let's not get wrapped up into those things. That's all I'm saying. It's sometimes that, like people say, when you go looking for something, you're going to find it. Most definitely. And at this time, right now, baby, it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Now, like I said, myself personally, I can't say I've seen it. But I have been going through my own trials and tribulations. I know that I have, like I go missing. And like I explained to you guys before, it's because, I well, I never explained to you guys what's going on, but my mother is very ill. And we were put in a position to make life threatening decisions, not life, life saving decisions. Um, and to see her in that state, my vibration, I just could not arise past it. Um, when I came from the hospital, I was fatigued. I, I couldn't do anything else because all I saw was my mother laying there. And once again, after these emotional days, because when you see somebody, your mother, your father, your grand, anybody like that, that you're attached to, it breaks your heart. And have you ever heard of people dying of broken hearts? It happens. When I was in mortuary science school, um, we had this lady and man come in one week because before we can take bodies and stuff like that, they have to be signed over. So um, this lady and um, her, her father, her elder father, um, came to sign her body over to us. He was distraught, very much so. Well, not even two weeks later, the daughter was in there signing his body over to us. People die of broken hearts all the time. That's a very true statement. But um, I'm just saying it to say is that I had to totally surrender once again, surrender that situation. I I knew what time it was and, and I knew what it was about, but Lord, you're gonna take my mother, somebody that I love, I love this lady. I will always love this lady, but it had got to the point where I had to let go and let God. Any decision that she chooses to make at this point because Baby, I'm going to tell you something. She's still in control. So that's between her and God. I am here to make whatever time that we have left wonderful, comfortable, and all that, and, and much, much more, whatever she desires. So I apologize for not being able to come on and not being able to you know, just draw up the strength and the courage because what we're doing going over the Bible is well above me. When I surrender everything to the Lord, I didn't surrender that depression. I I I didn't surrender that grief. I I I, I did not surrender my presence, I, I'm, I surrendered the present situation, but I didn't think about myself, what I needed to be productive, what I needed to go on. I, I, I thought about the situation and the situation 
she's very ill. We've been blessed just to her being with us for this long. But <clears throat> I guess when it came to about me, myself personally, I wasn't even part of the equation. I still don't believe I'm a part of this equation. I am so happy that I get the chance to celebrate her life with her. And in every moment that she has from now on, just remember the good times and let her know what a blessing that she was and all that sacrificing that she did was well worth it. And, and I don't have money to pay her for the things that she have done for me and my family, just being her daughter. I know wherever she goes, it's nothing but heaven. So, <laughs> let me let me come back, let me come back. See me up here, start sweating like, oh my goodness. Um, I, the first thing I said, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And that's the thing about it is, is that we all get to a level where sometimes we think, I can't do this. If if I have to do it, it's not going to be done because I cannot go through a situation like this. I'm not strong enough. This is how I spoke to the Lord. I'm not strong enough, Father. I can't see her go like this, Father. I can't. Sometimes you're so much stronger than you think. God doesn't put anything in front of you that you cannot handle. It's this a sad point in my life. Yes. Yes, it is. But I know from the life that she led, led that everything is going to be all right. I am just so selfish that I don't want to I don't want to share her with anybody else. I'm so selfish that I don't want her to have to leave. But it's life. And through God, Jehovah, Jesus Christ, they were the ones who told me I got you. They were the ones who told me she's okay. They were the ones that told me I always will take care of you. I haven't failed you yet. I will say right now I am blessed and highly favored. So is my parents. So is everybody in my family. We love the Lord. We love Jesus Christ. We always will. And when you get to a point where you think you have no control of that situation, give it to God. When you feel like You just can't, I can't go through another upset. I can't, I can't see this person not be here in my life. I, I, I can't, I can't do, through Jehovah, you can do anything, anything, anything. We're gonna go because I know that I have left you guys. I'm sorry. Like I said, um, I definitely did not want to come on with low vibrations. And my vibrations were so low. They were so low. 
I had the honor of walking with a wonderful young woman of God from the time that she became a new Christian. She grew beautifully in the Lord. She was strong in her core, full of courage and virtue. One day she came to me discouraged. It's someone had cruelly and carelessly accused her of being too aggressive and passionate about some justice, justice issues she had given her attention to. She cried in my arms and said, I don't know how to tone my passion down. My response to her was, let the strong be strong. Every strength has a corresponding weakness. And although we do need to be aware of the weakness, God would never want us to be dimish in our own strength, focus, and passion for the thing. He called us to. He is the one who has given us strength. And he expects us to steward that strength for his glory. Maybe I said that word. He expects us to st strive that strength for his glory. I apologize if that didn't sound right, guys. My friend found her inner strength in the midst of that particular season on accusations groomed the area in her life that needed to be addressed and rose up in victory to lead the troops to fight for those who were unfairly, unfairly treated and who did not have a voice to protect or defend themselves. She had become a wonderful leader who influences nations. It is good that she didn't back down when her strength was low and being challenged. Her humility in dealing with the things that she needed to be dealt with in her life made her even stronger. She made the difficulties of that season work for her and not against her. In Proverbs 31, we are introduced to this amazing, virtuous woman who is a wonderful model for us all. Not only was she faithful in her home, marriage, family, but she was all righteous, influenced in the business world, and generous to the poor. This woman was referred to as a woman of strength and victory who wrapped herself in strength, might, power. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's my best friend. Imagine yourself being wrapped in God's strength, might, and power. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful, what a beautiful regimen. That has to be the perfect. <laughs> you wrapped in God's strength, his might, and his power. Once again, I'm telling you guys, you have so much power right now. Some people are impatient. Some people are scared. Some people feel like because they did whatever, God won't accept them. You remember, that's why Jesus died for our sins. In Ephesians 6.10, Paul encourages believers to be strong in the Lord. Be supernaturally infused with strength through your life, union with the Lord Jesus. Stand victorious with the force of his explosive power flowing in and through you. Paul gives believers a clear invitation in this passage to rise up and prevail in the strength of the Lord. God has created special strengths, gifts, and abilities in each person. He has given life to. 
when you identify those strengths in yourself and season them through testing, intentional applications and life experiences, you too will rise up like Proverbs 31 woman. You too will rise up like the Proverbs 31 woman. Then look forward to the following being spoken of you. There are more noble ones, but you have ascended above them all. That's Proverbs 31, 29. So don't be afraid to stand strong in the Lord because that's where you're getting your strength from the Lord. And as long as you speak in his name, he promises you, I'm not making this up. It's in the book. Before I had a YouTube page and you know, I, what platform is this? Oh, oh um, yeah. So I had a YouTube page and I would speak about, because we're not here to we're not here to judge. We're not here to be little. We're not here to do anything because guess what? We all are sinners. How are you going to throw? Okay, so let me tell you. Okay, so it's a lot of people that say, oh, I don't want to go because I don't know the Bible. I don't want to go because uh, I don't know this. I don't know that. I feel that a pastor should never, ever fix his lips to tell somebody that they're wrong. They're just dark. Oh, what you're doing is dark. That's not encouraging at all. We are supposed to be here loving each other. Loving each other. If you turned around and you was awake talking about some of these pastors they wouldn't have nothing but love to spread it wouldn't be about money it wouldn't be about politics it wouldn't be about none of that if everybody out there who got these big churches or small churches and they talk and they saying all this stuff how are you not awake? Everybody awake that I know, awake for the light. Okay, let's get it right. Everybody that I know who is awakened in the light, they have nothing but love to spread. And if you say something that maybe they don't know anything about, okay? If they are not educated in things that you're saying, like vibrations, frequencies, love, peace, you know, all those powerful vibration things, right? Because they don't know anything about it. They try to shut it off real quick and tell you those are wicked words. Those are words are not in the Bible. I'm not going to refer. I seen, you know what? I saw, I don't know who this guy was and I'm not lying, not even a little bit. It was a older white gentleman, older, like past my daddy age, older. And he was talking about vibrations. Okay. <laughs> okay. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, 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 okay, girlfriend. So if you bump into someone who's telling you that you're not right and you're doing everything that you can to be in the light, then you have to sit back and observe that person. Because I believe that if you can do that once again, you're not awoke, awake, awakening, right? How are you saying negative things? How are you saying things to bring people vibrations and frequencies down? And you are of the light and you are awake, 
in the light. You understand what I'm saying? That's not, it's not going to be nobody against anybody. It's not going to be, uh, uh, it's going to be, if anybody is wrong, they're going to be like, let's sit down and let's review this together. We are evolving into something on a much higher level than we've ever been in. Of course, people with new vocabulary, new words. I'm so sure from the last dictionary that I looked at that has been renewed. <laughs> I'm just saying. And that's what I'm sticking with. I, I'm going to keep saying this. If you go somewhere and somebody tell you they start speaking to you with dark words, demeaning words, um, challenging words. What I mean challenging that when you they say them, you want to straight up challenge them. How is somebody like that and get angered so quickly? How can you do the things that you do? But I didn't overstep my boundary here because that's between you and the Lord. Let us continue. So the last time we did leave off, it was Genesis 7. So what I'm going to do since this is Genesis, I'm going to go ahead and let it go through. Now, once again, whichever platform you are in and people, um, we... Let me see how to, how to say it. Most of these people go to my personal message and message me. We don't do no less subscribe and do all this. First of all, because we know YouTube play with those numbers anyway. So we are not here to get paid. We are not here to do anything shady. So I feel like this. Um, they're not going to let you know when I put a video out anyway. You just know that they're there. And don't worry about anything else. No need to subscribe. No need to do anything but listen to the word and you get what you need to get out of it. Now, if there's a question that comes up, by all means, if you don't have my private... Uh, let me back. Take that back. If you don't have my uh my information from where i can be located at or you can speak to me at by all means leave something in the comments and i will try to do it whatever I, you ask accordingly i am here for you i am here for the children of god i am here to just speak out his name i am here to glorify the lord i am here to do Anything that deals with the light in our Lord Jehovah, I love him so much and he always provides no matter what our situation is in life. It's a lot of people out there right now that, that you kind of straddle in that fence. There is no need for you to straddle that fence anymore because if you listen to words and you listen to what other people don't, you don't have to listen to me because sometimes these are all my opinions. You can go on on YouTube and people are reading straight from the book. So with then when it's at the man that stop on my here when the ran. Amen. So many things just keep happening. So what could we do?